What about the French Sangaris rates? Oleg, go ahead. You rolled in the Oleg. UNDT filing. Oleg. For <coughs> two peacekeepers who are spending months on end in very, very difficult conditions, you know, be it Kagabanduro, be it Bombari, be it Bria, I've gone to both uh, since the last year. Uh, I mean, comfort is uh, rudimentary. Uh, and of course, uh, there is no, um, how should I say, uh, distraction. Uh, no possibility to do anything to get your mind, you know, off uh, those very uh, difficult uh, living conditions. I, something, well, I'd, I wanted to ask you this on Friday, or Mr. Ladsus, but I want to ask you. He, from this podium, he said, when in, in discussing rapes, he said that, that uh, peacekeepers there don't have enough recreation, that they don't have enough comfort. He, used the, he said that he would, there, there's, a, there's a looking into getting them flights to get fresh air. And although he did use the word, he's not excusing it. I'm going to tell, many people saw this as basically a statement that somehow linking the rapes to a lack of, of uh, I think, other I think, distractions, I think I another think word a, he used. I think it's a complete misinterpretation of what Mr. Letsu said. Uh, he stressed a number of times that there was no excuse. Uh, then what for, about uh, the flights? Ma okay. okay, I'm sorry. I'm a little over-caffeinated today, so just bear with me. Um, he repeatedly said that there was no excuse for, for rape. Uh, okay. Um, that is clear. That is UN policy, and I think that's everyone's policy. There, there is no excuse for rape. What he said in talking about the case of one contingent that had been deployed in basically, you know, a very hardship peacekeeping operation for more than three years, when troops are not rotated, uh, when troops don't have uh, the, the, an opportunity uh, to be rotated out uh, for R and R, and that's the truth for 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 any armed forces. It creates the conditions where there can be all sorts of of abuse or other things uh, developing. It is not an excuse for rape, and I think it's clear that we have seen um, uh, rape and horrendous sexual abuse uh, by soldiers in many parts of the world. Some of them come from very rich armies, some come from very poor armies. Uh, there is no excuse. What he was saying, and I think people would agree with it, that three years for any contingent being stationed in, a, in very difficult circumstances is too long. Well, I guess what I want to say, a U.S. military, uh, an admiral in the Pacific was fired for comments exactly like that, for which the person excused himself and apologized, but he said distraction, Matthew, I read what you wrote. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm aware of the other case. I think they, they're, compl they're not comparable. Where are the flights going? I, I, Where are the R&R &R no, flights going? I, I'm, I'm gonna, I, will, I, will come, I will come back. Sid Race, yes. Mr. Lee. Sure. I have other questions, but it seems like it's peacekeeping day around here. So I wanted to ask you, uh, since I'm, 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 I'm unclear, but would, uh, if I'll be allowed to ask Mr. Ladsus this question, I want to ask you the question. He, while he was in CAR, it was reported that he spoke to the ambassadors of countries whose soldiers were mm -hmm. charged with sexual abuse and exploitation. And so I tried to, um, I, did, I wanted to know whether he spoke with France specifically, given the interrelation between uh, Minusca and Sangaris, uh, and the statements made in this background briefing about human rights due diligence of the UN's partners. I mean, I think the, uh, you know, the issue of sexual abuse has been raised uh, between the UN and French officials at various levels, the levels of the defense ministry and at the, highest, uh, at the highest level. So it's, I think they are very well aware of our, our position on the issue. In Central Africa, some have been deployed since the times of the African Union, 18, 24 months. Uh, they have no opportunity to uh, travel for rest and recreation because they don't get money. Uh, we do give uh, the member states uh, welfare money, but uh, I'm not sure that in many cases the soldiers see the color of it. We are looking at uh, ways and means to provide them, you know, uh, for relatively cheap R&R uh, &R, uh, trips. But of course, again, it's difficult because Bangui is a very poorly served uh, airport. Uh, it's one or two planes a day, uh, and we have large constraints on our own air assets. But anyway, we're looking at it very closely and we'll see what we can do. I will not uh, deflower the subject. Uh, <coughs> two peacekeepers who are spending months on end in very, very difficult conditions, you know, be it Kagabanduro, be it Bombari, be it Bria, I've gone to both uh, since the last year. Uh, I mean, comfort is uh, rudimentary. Uh, and of course, uh, there is no 
um, how should I say, uh, distraction. Uh, no possibility to do anything to get your mind, you know, of uh, those very uh, difficult uh, living conditions. Again, it's not an excuse, but I think we owe it to our people to afford them, you know, uh, the possibility of, as I said, a better welfare and uh, try and see whether we can charter planes, you know, to uh, just give them a f some fresh air by going elsewhere. Some countries do it, uh, especially countries from South Asia. They actually send uh, national flights uh, every few weeks, you know, to uh, rotate uh, their peacekeepers for a week or two. Uh, but of course, in the case of uh, poorer countries, it doesn't really happen. Uh, so we have to try and step in to compensate for that. Great. What about the French Sangaris rates? Oleg, go ahead. Your role in the Oleg. UNDT filing. Oleg, go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Latsos. <coughs> you described the situation in which peacekeepers are working in CR, which harsh conditions. Mm -hmm. Those incidents, if there are any other ones, uh, as they come. What, what, what do you mean? Firing the whistleblower, Anders Compass. What was your role in Mr. Thank Compass? You. Thank it's you. listed in the UNDT filings. It should be answered. One more, one question, please. Shouldn't you answer that? No, it's...